So Frontenac and Westwood, two suburbs outside St. Louis, they are right next door to each other and they're very similar. So if you're looking at these wondering what is it like to live there, how do they compare, and what should you know if you're moving to the area? That is exactly what we're talking about in this video. So let's get right to it. Hey guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is Jacob Pystra. So Frontenac and Westwood, how are they different? They're not that different at all. I mean, Frontenac is like 10 times the size. Aside from that, they're pretty much the same. So thanks for watching. That's gonna wrap it up for today. I'm just kidding. They're pretty similar in a lot of ways. They have a bunch of stuff in common but there are a few differences. So if you're moving to the area, we're talking about that today. And hey, by the way, if you're moving to Frontenac or Westwood or somewhere else in the area, if you want help with that process of buying a house, buying a condo, relocating to St. Louis, send us an email or send us a text. My team and I are licensed realtors in Missouri. So that is what we're here for. We absolutely love getting to work with clients through the YouTube channel. That is my favorite part of my job. So Frontenac and Westwood. Really, I think of Westwood as like an extension of Frontenac. I group them together. They're pretty much the same thing. The biggest differences is that Westwood is like a tiny, tiny community. It is pretty small compared to Frontenac. Westwood's got a population of a couple hundred people, like around 300. Frontenac has more like three to 4,000 people. So it's bigger, more stuff going on, but the neighborhoods, the communities, and the price points you'll see are pretty much the same in both places. Now, Westwood is actually a village, so it's not a city like Frontenac. It's a tiny community. Everything in Westwood is centered around Westwood Country Club. So that's where it gets its name from. Westwood Country Club is a beautiful country club off of Conway Road. It's between Frontenac and Crevecore. Beautiful communities. It's really just the country club and a couple of neighborhoods around it. And that's Westwood. So Westwood is really just a pretty small community, very wealthy, very affluent, but it's the same as Frontenac in a lot of ways. Really the price ranges and the kinds of neighborhoods are almost exactly the same in Frontenac and Westwood. The only difference is if you wanna live on a country club, you can do that in Westwood, but not Frontenac. So there are some beautiful homes that back up to the golf course, but aside from that, they look the same in both cases. Now Frontenac, probably the reason you're watching this video just because not too many people I talk to know about Westwood because it's a small area. So Frontenac is a beautiful part of town right in between Ladue and Town and & Country. So the style you'll see is kind of a blend of Ladue and Town and & Country. So Frontenac and Town and & Country tend to be a little bit newer compared to Ladue. So Ladue has more of these, you know, older money kind of houses, the big mansions, more historic, whereas Frontenac and Town and & Country have a newer money style. You will see newer homes and communities, lots of these big, beautiful custom houses in Frontenac and Town and & Country in a lot more of these kind of infill neighborhoods where you're switching out the older ranch as a teardown for a bigger custom house. And that is what you will see in Frontenac and Town and & Country. So for the most part, you'll see newer homes in Frontenac like Town & Country, you will see more established subdivisions where you got the trees, you got the woods. It's not like one of those new development areas like St. Charles County, but you see a decent mix of the newer homes and the older ones where you'll see people slowly start to, you know, purchase the older ones, knock it down, and then some of these neighborhoods just become, you know, the bigger homes on the custom lots with the pool in the backyard. That is a lot of what you'll see here. And just like Town & Country, Frontenac just has a very green feel to it. Sidewalks everywhere, people always outside walking the dog, you know, going for a walk with the kids, trees everywhere, lots of green space. So it is a beautiful part of town, but it's not woodsy in the sense that it's like rural living in the woods, like Wildwood in some cases. So it's got a very suburban feel to it and it's a very nice community to be in. Both Frontenac and Westwood are some of the more well-to-do parts of town. So, you know, they're both known for being affluent, high income, definitely not a cheap place to live. It's kind of one of those stylish, elegant parts of town, like Ladue, kind of prim and proper, lots of money and lots of wealth in some of these areas. 
And if you want a prime example of how Westwood and Frontenac are definitely on the wealthier side, Plaza Frontenac is a big commercial center in the middle of Frontenac. It's basically a very high-end shopping mall. So in Plaza Frontenac, you got a bunch of these luxury brands and designer stores. And then outside the mall, lots of high-end restaurants. There's the brand new Lifetime Fitness Center right across from Plaza Frontenac. So it's kind of in the same section. They added some new restaurants. There is a new Mexican place, some new office space. So there's a bunch of new stuff right in Plaza Frontenac. Like I said, it's just kind of this very high-end area to go shopping or go get some food, very high-end restaurants there. And then Lifetime Fitness right there, which I think is now one of the most expensive gyms in the area because it's one of the ones that only has the premium membership for it. So again, that's just, you know, what you'll see in this area these days, everyone in Frontenac and Westwood goes to Lifetime to work out because it's just like the newest, fanciest, cool place to work out for everyone in that area. Like if you want to get a workout in, then go to the sauna, get a massage and stop by the smoothie place on your way out. It's just like, that's what you'll see in Frontenac. That's the kind of living, definitely one of those high end areas. And even with the gyms you'll see there, it's a high end place to live. I mean, really Frontenac is kind of in the center of all the wealth in Mid-County. So Ladue, Huntley, Town and Country, Westwood and Frontenac are like in the middle of all of that. So that's the kind of lifestyle you will see in this part of town. And for the real estate here, you will probably see anything between 700,000 and $5 million in this part of town. Anything below 700, you can find it, but it's probably a ranch on an acre of land that's being sold as a custom home lot. Like, trust me, this is the part of town where people will gladly spend 500 to a million on a piece of land to build their house on. You definitely see that in Frontenac and town and country. I mean, that's where like a prime wooded lot will go for sometimes seven figures because these days a lot of people just wanna build their own house. They wanna do it on their terms with their builder and have a private wooded lot. School districts. Now, Westwood and Frontenac are smaller in comparison to some of the other towns, so they don't have their own school system. They both share Ladue schools, depending on where you are. And then a couple parts of Frontenac will have Kirkwood schools, and then some parts of Westwood will have Parkway Central as their high school. So really, they're very similar areas. Again, Westwood is just a tiny place on the map with the country club, very similar to the rest of Frontenac. So if you're moving to one of these areas or somewhere else in the St. Louis area and you want some help with that process, buying a house, buying a condo, relocating to St. Louis, send us an email, send us a text message. Let's get in touch and let's get you here to St. Louis. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you take care. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video right here on the Living St. Louis channel.